Hi lovelies, I'm Arielle and this is Maven Unmasked and welcome to my weekly reading for March 14th through March 20th, 2016. Um, this week we are going to be using Doreen Virtue's Angel Tarot cards as well as God, the Goddess Guidance cards and the Ascended Masters cards. Um, I really felt like I wanted to get some extra holiness this week, some extra message from spirit, um, from the angels, from our ascended masters, from the goddesses, um, just to, you know, get a look at our week, what's going on. I've already pre-shuffled and drawn the cards, so let's see what message they have for us this week. Okay. We have the two of fire. We have the high priestess. And we have the eight of air. Okay. So this to me means that this week, um, we may find ourselves in a little bit of decision, a decision making area. And, you know, what does our choice have to say about us? What, you know, is being reflected back at us? For the two of fire, it's about new partnerships and new endeavors and, it's the two of wands in traditional tarot. And, you know, it's about exploring your options and, you know, taking a look at the horizon and, you know, seeing which way can you go? Um, how can you partner with the world? You know, the high priestess, use your intuition to see who would be worthy of creating a partnership with, which new endeavor would be best for you. And also use your intuition to stay away from that which is not best for you. You know, how, you know, will you work with that? The eight of swords, the eight of air comes to us with the feeling of being trapped or like we can't succeed. We don't know which way to go. Um, you know, having our blinders on and really just feeling stuck, really feeling stuck. And this high priestess energy right in the middle is great for the fact that using your intuition can really help you to find your way out and to realize you're not as trapped as you think you are. Use your intuition and your decision making about whatever new ende endeavor or partnership or venture you're planning on starting. Um, and, you know, use it to help you get unstuck. Use it to help you live your life. I believe the high priestess, our intuition is going to be of most importance this week. You know, listening to that tiny inner voice saying, yay or nay, this is the way to go. This is not the way to go. Um, so I really think using our intuition with Archangel Haniel will be very, very important this week. If you do work with the Archangels um, or you're curious to know more about them, take a Google for Archangel Haniel since he comes to us um, with this message of intuition and strengthening your intuition and using it in your decision making. Um, that is why our intuition is there. You know, it helps to guide us. It helps to guide us. It helps to guide us to new exciting endeavors serving us that, you know, following our soul purpose and our life path. But it also helps us to get unstuck and to stay away from things that aren't in our best interest or may not be for our highest good, um, you know, and to steer us away from things that could potentially hurt us. Now, what goddess has a message for us this week? Oh, Mary Magdalene unconditional love. So I think this really speaks to that. Even if you made a mistake, even if you're having trouble hearing your intuition, even if, you know, you don't know which direction to go in to always show yourself love, unconditional love, spirit loves you. You know, you have people around you that love and care for you, but most of all, you need to have unconditional love for yourself and learn how to forgive yourself you know, offer that love to you, express the same love that you do or would to your significant other or to your children that you give to yourself. But Mary Magdalene comes to us this week with the message of unconditional love, whatever decision or whatever choice that you make. Okay. And Pan comes to us as the Ascended Master this week with fertility. So to me, this is the time is right. You know, the seed has been planted you know, everything is ready. It's just time to, you know, to let it grow and germinate. You know, the, the ground is ready for planting. The seeds are ready for planting. And I really, really see that in this two of wands, this two of fire. 
you know, the start of a new venture, um, listening to your intuition to see when the time is most fertile to make the right move, you know, listening to your intuition if to see if the situation is of the utmost unconditional love to you. Will it help you or will it harm you? You know, things aren't always as they seem, but to know that you're not as trapped as you may think you are to let go of that mentality and to fertilize this two of wands here, fertilize this new venture, this new endeavor, this confidence, this desire to reach out and look out into the future and to not give fertility to the feelings of being trapped, the feelings of being stuck, etc. You know, intuition is at an all time high this week um, and use it to help you you know, so better seeds to give unconditional love to the situations that need it and to allow your life to be more fertile and fruitful. So that is it for me this week. I hope you all have a great one, lovelies. I'm Arielle and this has been Maven Unmasked. Bye.